What's going on, YouTube? Well, I uh, am waiting in my tractor. Hopefully it's not too loud running here, but I'm waiting in my tractor for a friend of mine um, to haul my hay here, my winter hay. And um, I'm just gonna do a little video showing that. Um, I, you know, for, for many years, up until last year actually was the first time that I um, hired this friend of mine who's got a semi to haul my hay. And when you put the numbers, when you put the numbers down on paper, it, it just didn't make sense for me to haul the hay myself. By the time I made, I can only uh, haul four bales at a time. And by the time I would get done hauling all that hay here, I had not only a lot of time invested, which time is money, but I had a lot of fuel and just the headache of it and uh, not only fuel for my truck, but for my tractor because I don't unload it uh, right up by the house. I unload it on another property that's across the road, uh, kind of along an easement road, and that's where I keep it. And um, so when I put the numbers down on paper, it just made complete sense. Uh, and it's actually cheaper and way easier uh, to hire someone to haul this in. And you know, don't get me wrong, I'm the type of guy who loves to do everything for myself that I can, but when you have a bunch of stuff going on and it just makes sense because financially in the big picture, it's cheaper to have him haul it all in one load on a semi and I may have to pick up a, a couple extra bales and that may just be in my trailer uh, just for you know a little a little cushion a little buffer to make sure I have enough hay for the winter um, this year uh, I had some hay left over from last year surprisingly uh, with the drought and the lack of hay and the cost of hay last year uh, I do have a little bit left over this year, so I'm thankful for that. And uh, and that's another thing, you know, Longhorns will eat this hay just fine. They'll eat this one-year-old hay like it's just this year's cutting, uh, kind of like a goat will. So, you know, I don't know if all the other commercial breeds of cattle do that or not. I know people try to not feed a year old hay, but this stuff keeps pretty well. It's pretty dry here. Um, and uh, I, I do this every year. I typically have a little bit left over and I never have a problem with them eating it or not. So we're waiting on my, my buddy to get here. Um, and we're gonna get this hay unloaded and feel a little bit more comfortable about going into winter. So it'll be here before we know it. And um, it's the time of year I like the most. So anyway, stand by and enjoy the view from the tractor seat.
And just like that, hay stacked and the sun's going down. As you can probably see the glare off my face. And uh, anyway, we're stacked up here. And uh, I'm gonna step over here out of that sun. Although it is beautiful. We got hay put stacked up and um my buddy jay's on his way with his semi back to his farm um anyway pretty big blessing to know somebody with a semi and that's willing to help help you out he doesn't charge me much um compared to what it would if i had to contract someone or whatever but uh anyway I uh, got that done, another thing off my checklist, and I even went out and graded our gravel road here. Doing this makes kind of a mess, uh, you know, as you saw me probably turning and uh, kind of tears up the road a little bit. Nothing crazy, but enough that it needs to be graded out. So I take my land plane, I always try to take care of my neighbors, and um, I'm sure I do some stuff that they shake their head at or whatever, but uh, uh, like I said, we're all friends and and, and uh, know each other and have some like like interests, so that always helps. But uh, got the road all graded out, looks nice, and uh, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna head in and and uh, get some late supper here. So 
Um, anyway, just wanted to share this with you and show you how what we do for hay and, and what we do with it and uh, getting ready for winter. So appreciate you being here and we'll see you on the next video.